pan originated in Trinidad. John John East Dry River, behind the bridge, usually called it. My pan was made by Tony Charles, one of the best pan maker and tuna in Britain. He's the boss. The steel pan means the world to me because for the past 50 years I've been earning my living through the pan. I worked at the Savoy, Skyline, all the big hotels in London. Travel all over England playing the pan. I was born for the Spain trainer and Tobago. I came here after the war 1956 because the British was asking Caribbean people to come and help rebuild the country after the war. Was that the Windrush? Was exactly, it bought? Exactly, the Windrush generation, yes. What was the experience like? The experience was terrible. Because when we got here, we, we met with people with this like, come with us coming. They didn't want us to come here. The people themselves didn't even know what the British government was doing. Mm. Because they were asking us to come and help build the country and the people were asking us why we come in here. What are you all coming here for? What are you all coming to our country for? And there was racist against us. There was no no blacks, no dogs, no Irish. This is what we meet up when we get when we get here to Britain. Hostility, pain. It was real terrible. To live, to get a place to live. New buildings was trying to go up and they needed carpenters, joiners, bus drivers and, and things like teachers and all. And we came and drove to help. And then we wasn't treated properly. Mm -hmm. We couldn't get place to live. People were attacking you in the streets and calling you black bastard right to go back home, go back to your country and things like that. But we stomach all that and, 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 and progress. Today, our kids are making a name for themselves. We brought with us our kaiso and music and our instrument. And today we are still going strong. The steel pan moved to Britain just after the war with a band by the name of Tasco. The best players from each band in Trinidad and Tobago were selected to come and perform at the Albert Hall. It was a sellout. In every home, Trinidadian home, you'll find an instrument, either a pan or a bass or a second pan, they are coming with those. Do you think that the pan has enabled you to find a community in Britain? Yeah, it enabled us to, to, to get together and play, play the type of music we play, you know, to improve on the pan more and more. We, we leave home playing the pan, but coming to England, we get together more to form different groups, different bands to continue our music and our culture. It's made my life, that's, that's my living, playing the pan. Because of the pan, I was two seat drummer in Cleopatra. I was our two seat drummer because of um, show business, because of pan traveling to Europe. I was selected to, to be a drummer in that Cleopatra movie by getting gigs every summer, I do up three or four gigs. And nearly every school in England now has a band, has a seal band. Nearly every school there's a seal band there that keep the kids off the street. Passing it down to the younger generation coming. My little granddaughter is, she's just seven and she could play a tune already on the pan. My son took up tenor pan and he's evoking playing tenor pan. Every time we got a gig, he, mm -hmm. he's on the tenor. Yes, we keep passing it on. Not only here in England, but in the Caribbean as well. Cherry pink and apple blossom wise When your true lovers come your way It's cherry pink and apple blossom wise When you in love The story goes that once an apple tree Besides a cherry tree that's grown And there was once a boy in love to be Long, long ago